after you solder your butt joint with a tiny piece of solder on the outside, you put it in the pickle, it comes back out, and it looks something like this. Knocking off that solder seam using some sandpaper, get that off. And then you want to make sure that the side that's going against the um, platform that you're soldering it to, you want to make sure that that is completely flat. So I'm going to sand the bottom of it. You can always put um, marker at the bottom and when all the marker has gone then you know it's flat. And there we go. So now, this doesn't look like a perfect oval, does it? No, it's kind of wonky. So the way that I do it is I push it around the stone and I'm kind of pushing it and shaping it and making sure that it fits. There's also something called a bezel mandrel. It looks just like a ring mandrel and it's oval and it's up at the hammer station and you can also hammer it on that. I tend to do it this way, but we, I can show you that later. Now the most important thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that it fits in going from the top down. Does anybody know why? Well, when you're ready to set your stone, you're going to be putting it in from the top down. Okay? Okay. So I'm ready to solder. There's one thing that I need after or before I solder this, and it's a hole on the back. I have to make sure I drill a hole. I can either do it before or I can do it after I solder the bezel. It doesn't matter, but it has to be there. The reason being, if I solder that in and then I go, oh, I hope it fits, and then I put it in there and I'm like, oh, it fits perfectly, I can't get it out now. And what if I wasn't ready to set the stone? That would be bad. So. Drill a hole and then you can poke a little tiny drill bit or scribe through to get it back out. All right, that way it doesn't get stuck when you don't want it to. Okay, so second solder seam is soldering the bezel wire to the platform. If I used hard solder, what kind of solder should I use now? Medium. medium. Very good, medium. And the way I'm going to set this up, I'm going to flux it. And I'm going to use four pieces of solder. I'm just letting you guys know because I know it's hard to see. And I'm going to pretend I'm making a compass. North, south, west, east. I'm going to put a piece of solder. Half of a sprinkle on the inside. Okay? All right, so let's go up there. You can keep it on. I'm going to solder, medium solder. Leave my stone here. We don't want to blow it up. We already have a shape. I like to prop my stuff up whenever I can on a little grill. Boom. I don't need a lot of solder, just like a glazed donut. I'm sorry, flux. A vegan glazed donut. Ooh, fancy. All right, so flux. Not too much, not too little. Glazed donut. Four pieces of solder, north, south, west, and east. Looking for a pair of tweezers that work. Okay, I can't get these out right now and I'm getting filmed so I'm going to hurry up. Four pieces. North, south, east, west. So I'm putting one there. There. I got one too many. Whoopsies. We don't need a north, east. Okay, so those of you that can't see, there'll be a wonderful video for you to look at in a couple minutes. If you want to stand on there, you can, but those in the front, maybe bend down a little bit. Okay, small torch again. Low heat. Where is most of my heat going to be, everybody? On the bottom piece. On the plate. Very good, the bottom piece. So my flux is going to get white and it's going to bubble and it's going to move my solder around and I'm going to move my solder after it goes clear with a scribe solder pick. Okay. 
So you're going to see a strip of silver solder go all the way around the band. So when it's a dull red, it's ready to go. So it's going to go here. See, here it goes. Boom. You want that silver strip all the way around, okay? Voila. Voila. Step two. Thank you. Thank you.